Sometimes playing solo feels like it feels like hitting a wall with your head. Yeah, it really does. In this story, I did hit many walls, but dude, my head must be really heavy. Just on wipe day, I got torqued by a seven-man group. I got online raided. And well, I was having a hard time, but I didn't give up. This was all recorded through an official server as soon as Foss Wipe started. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the video. Alright, let's see what's in this false wipe for us. Let's go. Well, as I said, this was a hard run for me and it especially was at the beginning. This is the place where I wanted to build my base, but there were a few big groups contesting the area as well. I killed a few of them, but they actually ended up killing me with spears, which is uh, pretty sad, honestly. <laughs> no. I spawned again and gave it another try. Oh, okay, that's that's all I wanted. Well, this is a naked spawn area, and the amount of naked here is just crazy, dude. Uh, he's just behind cover. I don't think I should fight this though. I'm gonna live with this. Okay, nice. I need to build a base, dude. Oh my god, what is wrong with some people in this game, dude? Well, I'm gonna try to build a 2x1 here or something like that. Oh no, never mind. The boys are here. There's a few of them. I just wanna try to run. Oh my god, really? Yeah, boy. <laughs> what the heck? No. This is my worst start ever, dude. Wow. Alright, I was having a rough day, so please don't judge me for this. I came back, I built a one by one to play around there, I also found a satchel that will be clutch in a few hours, and once I gather enough resources, I built my starter. Then, I stole a boat from a group recycling in harbor, and farmed the ocean for like 20 minutes. That gave me all I needed to start actually playing the game. I got myself a crossbow and I went for another ocean farming run. And well, when I came back, it was time to meet my neighbors. <laughs> oh my god, these guys were actually waiting for me. If I died with this dude... 
Alright, nice. Ah, but they will steal my boat now for sure. And I can't really do anything because I only have two wooden doors. And if I open the first one and die, they can just break my back and then Yoka raise the second one. So yeah, at least I'm gonna place a seed metal door first. <laughs> these guys, they, they are one of these neighbors, you know? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How many are they? There is four or five at least. <laughs> oh my god, I can't see anything. Okay, nice. What the heck was that? I'm gonna try to build something before they come back because I'm not feeling very safe right now. Okay, I think we should be fine now. I guess we can play finally, <laughs> nice. I think this guy is playing with my neighbors. Oh yeah, he is playing with my neighbors. He's in the roof already. <laughs> I can hear them outside. Like they are camping me again. The amount of time we are losing with this dude. <laughs> this guy is man. The thing is that these primitive fights are like useless for both. I need to get my boat back and start progressing. <laughs> like, what can I do? Like, it, there is at least four of them outside, so... <laughs> okay, I think they are all going out, so maybe I can get my boat back. As I said, it's four swipe and I need to keep progressing, so I went to farm the ocean again. And when I came back... I'm gonna check if I'm getting door camped again before coming closer. Oh, that's suspicious. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that, that's, that's suspicious enough, I would say. <laughs> how, how long have they been waiting for me, dude? That's amazing. <laughs> my god, there's another one. Alright, fair enough. Like, I'm gonna make a farm base and play there meanwhile. I was uh, laughing as always, but I was actually getting annoyed by them because they just wouldn't let me play my wipe. That's why I decided that I had to raid them before they spawned. I had a satchel and all I needed was to farm more scrap and fight a bean gang. So, I got to work. Oh my god, no way dude, we can raid them. I can recycle this and get Vincan. And yeah, all I need is some scrap and some sulfur and yeah, we can raid them. Let's go dude, I want to raid them so bad really. <laughs> Alright man, I still need a bunch of scrap to get a real gun, but this, this will do for now, yeah. 
Okay, sweet. I just need to farm up some sulfur and we will raid them. I had such a bad start, but uh, well, it seems like things are going pretty well now. Oh, I I'm gonna pretend that I only have a crossbow. They will not expect the P2, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's nice. Oh, and they have all the cards as well. Nice, dude. They also have a bunch of guns. Like, I know it's only Rebo, Pump, Water Pipe, stuff like that, but it's Force Wipe. Like, anything I can get is good. After that, I went for a sulfur and a stone farm in order to expand my base and also get rid of my neighbors. Remember about these picks because they will be pretty useful soon. Alright, I think we have enough already. I'm gonna prepare everything and we go. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see what they have. Oh my god, that's going fast. <laughs> Dude, what? Am, am I using C4 instead of Satchels? What the heck? Okay, nice. I'm gonna steal this quick. <laughs> like I'm telling you, those were the fastest satchels ever. Wow. Ooh, okay. Okay, it's not bad. They are not super loaded, but they have some stuff, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, all I want is to get them out of here, so <laughs> I take it. I'm gonna start moving the best loot and then I will subside the stone wall. I, I think they should have more stuff. Okay, this is gonna take a while, honestly. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. What? How, how many is that? Five, six, seven. Seven people. Imagine camping as solo as a seven man. <laughs> I mean, they don't have anything else at all. Like, well, well, I can use the diving gear, but they don't have much. After transferring everything, this is pretty much the best loot that I got. As I said, it wasn't much, but it was only a few hours into force wipe, so it was okay. After that, I researched Garage Store and Python, and I did a few base upgrades. With my neighbors out of the map, the plan was pretty simple, farm tunnels and start grinding all the blueprints, but well, it couldn't just be as easy as that. Okay, I'm just gonna recycle the best stuff and we go back before I die, dude. Alright, let's go.
Nice, that was a really good run though. Like, I can probably take three Thompson already. Wait, what? I, I had a door here, dude. Oh my god, someone tried to raid me, what? Why, why is there a guy sleeping inside my base, dude? Like, I, I'm so confused right now, really. I, I need to craft doors. I mean, I have been in the metro for no more than 30 minutes. Like, what's this timing, man? <laughs> well, I'm actually glad that I didn't forget to close my gala stores. Oh, they are back already. That's, that's actually bad. I only have the garage store right now. Okay, I'm gonna try to secure the inside before trying to make a play or something like that. I think they are just camping my garage store, like trying to go deep or something like that. Well, I guess I just trapped them inside. Uh, <laughs> with that, that's my bad. But I think there's only one inside, so I can just uh, use the pigs and kill him. Oh, okay, the, the boys are back. Let's focus. I don't want to shoot till I'm like completely sure that I can kill one fully. That was it? Yeah, nice. But I don't have wood to craft a keylock, dude. Maybe they have? Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna depot this. <laughs> I just broke my control key. And I can't crouch to get out. <laughs> Come on, please. Okay, go inside, go inside. <laughs> okay, I can't crouch now. Let's go, dude. I think we won already, but I'm gonna try to place a few doors, just in case. Okay, nice. We won now for sure. Dude, like I'm telling you, Garage Store MVP, they were just one door away from taking pretty much everything. <laughs> Why is there a guy sleeping in my base? <laughs> well, after winning the right defense, I spent some time securing my base. Then, I had to do some farming in order to finish the shooting floor, and I also wanted to add a few external TCs. By the way, these guys shooting are the ones who tried to raid me before. They built that little roof and they are like pretty much camping everyone who comes close to the lighthouse. With my base being now fully secured, I decided to use the red card that I got before to run the underwater lab near my base, since last oil was being camped by huge roofs. In order to keep my progression going, I spent the last few hours of day one around the ocean trying to farm and kill other farmers. As usual before, it took me more than usual to secure my base spot, but now that I took over the area, grinding a scrap was really easy, and things were going pretty well for me. Oh nice, there's so many people still trying to progress, like with bows and stuff like that. Alright, I'm getting so much loot now, dude. 
We need to start grinding on these comps. Like, I'm gonna try to recycle in the lighthouse. Hopefully, I won't die to these guys camping it all the time. <laughs> well, now they will go to the roof. I think it was worth it. Oh, there he is. Oh, they got two guys in the roof now, okay. <laughs> okay, we are done. Let let's get out of here. Oh, what? <laughs> well, they sent one guy with crossbow, while the others are sitting in the roof. Solid strat, dude. <laughs> Because I'm getting shot from everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so annoying. There's so many rats and these guys are camping as well. <laughs> I'm gonna raid these guys, I'm telling you. Like, he's still roof camping. This is amazing. Wow. Okay, we made it at least, dude. Well, it's not the same guys who tried to raid me before, so yeah, I was going to try to raid them, even if they didn't roof camp. But well, I still need to get a one match level 3, I need to research rockets, and I need to make a camp and to start smelting on the sulfur. Taking that fight made me realize that I still have a lot of work to do. If I wanted to raid these guys, I would need around 2000 scrap. So yeah, after making a little compound, I went back to the metro and ocean farm for a few more hours. I can't really loot this, like, I don't need rebos, all I need is scrap right now. Oh, there's someone diving here, right? <laughs> oh my god, the boy is taking over the ocean. <laughs> After a few hours of grinding, I was again stacking out of comps, so I went for a big recycling run in order to get that world range level 3. As I still had a lot of comps, I went for another recycling run. That's my boat, by the way. <laughs> These rats. <laughs> oh, well, they only have bows, actually. Alright, nice. We really needed to recycle all that. I'm gonna craft a war bench level 3. I will take 3 MP5, extra ammo, and... Well, I will not have enough for rockets yet, but I will have that soon. By this time, it was around 24 hours into Force Wipe, and I had barely slept, so I needed to take a break. When I came back, I did a little bit of farming, since my main mission was still to raid the lighthouse campers, and well, after that, I went to check their base. Wait. No way. 
They got raided already, what? I mean, I'm not surprised at all, like, I know that they were roof camping everyone, so yeah. This had to happen, but uh, still, I don't know. Oh. I think I can loot the guy. Oh, what? Okay, I'm fine. Wait, they live in that base, right? Yeah, okay, they, they live in that little base for sure. I don't know where is the AK guy though. I, I think he's just running away or something. <laughs> oh my god, what a rat. I'm dead here. Ah, well, right target acquired. <laughs> A few hours later, I researched the raiding tools that I needed, and I went to take a look to this guy's base. I mean, this is pretty much a 2x2, two two, so yeah, it should be pretty easy to raid. Like, the only problem would be the sternals though. But I think we can just come here with the explo ammo that we got from the raid defense, and just open a few doors. By the way, keep these names in mind. I th this is obviously not enough to raid them, I just want to raid a few doors to see more about the base. No garage door, nice. Okay, I need to go back and craft a little bit more of expo. Right, I have to wait the night anyways, so I'm gonna go naked pump to check if there is someone camping the base. <laughs> My head, dude. <laughs> like, I knew it. I swear I knew it. Like... <laughs> okay, I will bring grenades, I guess. Okay, we should be fine. Ah, well, it's okay. I will have to bring C4 rockets, I guess. I'm gonna go back to build a 2x1 in front of their base because I want to be able to seal with the externals. So yeah, this, this way I can secure all the loot, hopefully. I'm gonna open the door naked because I think these guys are gonna be waiting again with the beast. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I just have to play like this, like if they were going to be camping me every time, so... I'm gonna check if there is someone camping me, and if everything is fine, I will come with all the boom now. This is a really scuffed place to raid solo, man, because I can get shot from everywhere all the time. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not liking this dude. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Why, why was this guy trying to fight me? Like, you can't you just recycle your stuff and go? I don't know, dude. Well, I think there's no one camping now. So, yeah, I'm gonna go back and bring all the boom. Can I wall here? Yeah, nice. What? No way. Oh my god, dude, really? The console is going to break though. Yeah, I can't do anything. And just like that, I lost everything to a naked guy with MP5 who triple has shot me. But <laughs> that's me when I say that now is when things started to go really good for me. Wait, what? These are the guys who killed me when I was trying to raid the base. Oh my god, really? So many cheaters in this game now, dude. Are they landing? I only have 27 bullets, though. Oh yeah, they are. Nice. I needed to loot his ammo, but uh, maybe I can do something with pump. Well, <laughs> I have more bullets now, yeah. No way, we are back on the track. <laughs> These guys are trolling, dude. Oh, found the mini, nice. Okay, dude. We, we lost the raid, yeah, but I think we can probably recover some stuff using the mini. Let's see. Losing this raid was annoying, but I still had a lot more to do. So, I was going for a farming run when I met this group. What, what the heck are these guys doing? Hey, these guys are coming from everywhere, dude. Oh, 300 scrap, nice. Oh my god, what? These guys are so loaded. Oh no, they are back. I can't be greedy, I'm just gonna loot the best stuff and go. Oh my god, go, 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 go. No way I'm stuck here. <laughs> you have to be joking. I'm gonna die here. Oh my god, fuck it. I, there's no way I survived this.
<laughs> there is no way I'm alive. What? Oh my god, I was so lucky. Like, how many shots did they miss? Okay, nice. I couldn't even loot most of the stuff, but it was pretty good anyways. With my new heli, I thought it would be a good idea to try and find a clan base far from everyone that I could raid for profit. First, I raided a few doors of a clan nearby, hoping to get an AK kit from their lockers, but it didn't go as planned. <laughs> Legit nothing. <laughs> okay, dude. And then it's when I found this other base far from everyone, possibly loaded and easy to raid. Well, I guess I'm gonna raid the ladder hatch so we can see the base better. What the heck is this base, dude? <laughs> Oh, well, uh, I don't have enough for that. Oh my god. Oh my god, three, three boxes of wood. These guys have to be so loaded. Assuming that these guys were going to be pretty loaded, I decided to farm up some sulfur and try to raid them before they came online. Okay, that should be enough already. Let's get out of here, dude. Oh! I can roll. Oh my god, I should be dead here, dude. I have to kill this guy. We are out of here, dude. <laughs> Not even looting his kit. Let's go. Okay, okay, nice. <laughs> well, comps are really good. They don't have a lot of guns, but we don't need them anyways. Let's break this box, I guess. Oh, nice. Box of frags. Sulfur. Nice, dude. Nice. Let's fucking go. So much, dude. Okay, so the plan now is flying back. I will raid the last scratch door and secure the rest of the loot. Yeah, let's go. Okay, TC, nice. Outlook in the box, though that, that could be GP or rockets or something like that.
this is pretty good as well, nice. Oh, <laughs> he has AK. No way, nice, dude. There has to be something good in this box, though. I'm, I'm actually excited. <laughs> Okay, dude. <laughs> they, they were protecting well this uh, seven scap on building plans, dude. <laughs> After transferring everything, this is pretty much the best loot that I got from the raid. Anyways, it was getting late, so I did a few base upgrades and I went to sleep. Without knowing that the next day would be one of the craziest I had ever had in Rust. Oh, a sunny base? Wait, uh, why would you build so close to me? Well, uh, first stacks of the day will be raiding it. <laughs> but well, I heard shots in harbor. Gonna check it out and then we see the base. I'm scared that I'm going to get shot in the back while looting. Oh my god. What? There's no way he's recycling all this solo. Like, I need to get out of here now. <laughs> oh my god, so much, dude. I'm gonna go back to see what's going on there. Oh, oh my god, you didn't see that. I just woke up, don't judge me, please. <laughs> this has to be the mates of the guy recycling. Because they, they are like rage pushing after losing all the scrap. Oh yeah, it's them, it's them, because I left 20 tarps in the body. Okay, nice trip. I love playing in the morning, honestly. With the scrap that I got from this fight, I researched rocket launcher and I prepared everything to online raid my new neighbors. They were moving loot, I will have to raid more doors for sure. I thought they were hiding loot in the water, but I guess no. They must have everything in the last door. Yeah, I will have to raid this door, I guess. There is a lot of them actually. The guy stealed me my base raid. Shit. Ah, 
There is, there is a lot of them, dude. But the base is secure, so I should be fine. Real Oh my god, they're inside with Divi. Ah, they, they will never open the door. I'm gonna take some S and raid it. <laughs> These rats, dude, they are not taking any damage. <laughs> what? I, I stole in Satchels, what the heck, dude? Yes. Fuck you. That was the worst fight ever, dude. Loot isn't bad, right? Like, I mean, I wasn't expecting much. They only played during night, so. Yeah, I guess it's okay. At least they have some sulfur. This is the best loot that I got from the raid. It wasn't crazy, honestly, but it wasn't bad, and I rather don't have neighbors. Leaving that aside, I wanted to do a bigger online raid, and I had the perfect target in mind, so I went to investigate their base. These guys have to be so loaded, man. Like, they have two main bases, furnace base, and then a cloth farm. But at least as a solo, this is really hard to raid. I don't know, I will think about it. Maybe we can do something. Oh, they came back. <laughs> I'm trolling. After depoing everything, I came back a few more times and, well, we fought, I killed them and they killed me. Didn't make profit, honestly, but I got the information that I wanted. They seemed to be not more than a trio or, well, that's, that's what I thought, yeah. Anyways, I decided to try to online raid them, so I went to the most deep and lonely snow island in the entire server to farm up some sulfur, and still today, I can't believe what happened. Hello. What the heck? Oh! Oh my god, the naked guy was baiting me! Can't see him, dude. He might be dead now. Yeah, he's nice. Oh my god. What if I kill the Hasi? It's here, it's here. The Hasi broke. Oh my god. No way, no way. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I need to get out of here. Being so greedy, but there is so much still there. Fuck 
Okay, let, let's go, you two, let's go. Oh my god, dude, I'm shaking right now. Like, I've never killed someone with so much sulfur. Like, some people will think this is scripted, but this, this is a full pop official server. Like, this never happened to me, at least so early into the wipe. This is day three, by the way. In case you're wondering, I came back to check if the naked guy that I killed at the beginning had some sulfur as well, but he have nothing. Also, I tried to figure out why did they have so much sulfur, and I think the reason was that they raided this clan's farm base that was just on top of the hill. And that's probably why they had a rocket launcher, crude oil and some random components. Anyways, with the sulfur acquired, it was time to prepare everything for the raid. This raid will start a war in the server, so before we get into that, I want to explain you guys something. There is a problem when you try to online raid as a solo, and it is that you only have one inventory, so you cannot carry a raid base and rockets all at once. So, my plan was fly in there with Mini, build a raid base, and immediately fly back to my base to get all the rockets. It's going to be really hard, dude, but well, let's see what we can do, I guess. Oh, well, <laughs> we lost the element of surprise. Oh, what? They are raiding it already. Okay. Dude. Oh, I forgot to close that. They can ladder up. <laughs> oh my god. That was almost really bad, dude. I could have lost the right there. They broke my mini, dude. Really? They don't even try to keep it, like, they just break it so I can't come back. <laughs> oh, they're breaking my TC. Okay, I think it's fine because I broke their TC as well. I was super close, dude. <laughs> I should have never placed the TC there. Like, I, I didn't think about it, honestly. Well, <laughs> free meds, I guess. 
Well, now things were even more complicated than I thought. I didn't have a heli anymore and they were around my raid base all the time. So, coming back with rockets was not really possible. First, I had to drain a lot of guns from them so that they wouldn't be camping my raid base and then bring the rockets. Because of that, I spawned in my main, I took a warmage level 2, some cloth and some logarith so that I would be able to craft meds. Oh my god, I was really close again. <laughs> okay. Okay, we are set now. I mean, I think if I just kill them a few times, they will stay in their base. So yeah, I will be able to put my turrets and then I can go for the rockets. Let's see. I don't think this is going to make a huge difference, but uh, now I can pick from this door. Okay, I'm gonna try to put the second turret real quick. Now that I had killed them a few times, they were not coming out of their base, and as I had turrets ready, I decided to spawn in my main and take all the rockets. Okay, we made it, nice. <laughs> I know the entire server is gonna come to counter, dude. <laughs> but let's just go for it, yeah. It's high quality. I have enough to raid it, but I think they're just moving loot inside. I have to keep going because everyone is gonna come to counter. Oh my god, that's a lot of people. But I think it's okay because I have the turrets and I didn't have rockets on me. I, I need to keep trying to shoot the walls though.
Okay, we got everything back now at least. Oh my god, there's so many people coming back all the time. Wait, what? Ah, I think they are trying to satchel my turrets. Well, hopefully they won't blow up though. <laughs> well, or they can just blow up instantly, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many people. I think they're actually raiding me now. He broke the door as I was trying to close it, dude. So unfortunate. Then they raided one more door, but they stopped as they saw the garage door. Oh, I think they're raiding the high qual wall now. It was like 100 HP though. I think the contests are not here anymore. Maybe I can finish the raid. I'm gonna try to raid the garage door right now. Armor door. I don't think I have enough though. I don't think I had enough rockets to finish the raid, but anyways, I end up dying and they sealed the base. I talked to them after that and they said there were five people. Oh, oh, five people. Plus the clan who came to counter with like six or seven members. That was just way too much for a solo. If you play with cheats, yes. Cheats or macros. And well, this is how it ends. We couldn't win the last raid, but just the fact that they needed more than 10 people to defend a solo raid, I say that's a victory for us. If you are watching this, please consider subscribing. I'm grinding a lot of Rust content and I will keep doing so. I played the next week after this wipe in this same server and I had another amazing solo run with a better ending. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.